Your financial needs aren't independent of each other, so your financial advisor shouldn't be either. At Mercantile Bank, our experienced United Wealth professionals are united to serve you and your complete financial planning and wealth management needs. Are you just starting your investment journey or need to roll over a retirement plan? Do you need to plan for a loved one with special needs or for your own life after work? Maybe your business needs a succession plan or you want to enhance your employee benefit programs. Whatever steps you need to take, our United Wealth experts are ready to take them with you. Together, we are united. Hi, this is Ron Kincher. Welcome to the Business Spotlight, brought to you by Mercantile Bank and Rober and Phillips Attorneys at Law. And you recognize this gentleman, Jeff Shooking from Shooking Men's Clothing, correct? Menswear. Menswear, yeah. So it's not just... But you have a little bit of everything there, don't yeah, you? a little bit of everything, from blue jeans to suits, sport coats, dress shirts, sweaters, mm-hmm. just about anything for a man with the exception of pajamas and rollers. <laughs> <laughs> slippers? Yep. Oh, you do have slippers. We do have some right, slippers. Right. So um, how long have you been doing this now without... You know, bringing so, up your age or anything like that. So I've we've we've been on our own for the last thirty years. Okay. And prior to that, I worked for a State Street store. Oh, so, that's right. Okay. So total, I've got forty eight years in. Okay. So in the menswear industry. So did you? Okay. Did you get the job at State Street store working in the men's department? I'm assuming, or did you not start at the men's department? I started prior to that when I was twelve in 1972. Okay. Working for State Street store mowing yards. Okay. And, 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 and keeping up the yard work. And then on, in 1976, they put me on the payroll. Uh-huh. I was on a custodial crew along with wow. uh, a uh, – I was on the, in the men's department. And if you'll remember back uh, at the stag shop, worked there. Right. Worked in their western store, the double S store. And so I've, I've done it all. So what was the attraction to that type of industry for you? It's good work. Uh-huh. It's good work, easy work. Um, um, it's a lot of a, hours, though. A lot of hours, and but it's it, it's a it, you get a personal satisfaction with helping people mm-hmm. and, and and helping solve their problems. Uh, so of, tell of, me of, more about that. So is it I, the first time? <laughs> this is way back when uh, I got my first suits from State Street Store mm-hmm. uh, when I was doing my first on-air work. I was Ron Hendren. Remember Ron Hendren, mm-hmm. the farm director? Sure. I was his backup. And uh, I had to get a couple of suits, and I got them from State Street Store. But it, So in that situation, if you would if you would, I can't remember if you – you might have sold me the suits, actually. But um, the satisfaction of you helping me out is – just seeing me on air or other people bouncing around town and what you give them? Is that what you're talking when you, about? Or? When you, when people come in, they really don't exactly, they have an idea what they want, mm-hmm. but they don't know exactly how they want it. Mm-hmm. And, and so, you know, they come in for a couple of suits and, and a lot of times they'll ask for, they come in looking for a specific color and they leave right. with another color that they liked better. Uh-huh. And it's, it's helping them find the perfect suit for the occasion uh, that they need it for. So is there any thought in the back of your head that, that, well, gosh, maybe my taste isn't really what their taste is going to be, or you you try to modify what they want for what you're trying? You you see where I'm coming from there? So you you always try to gear Mm -hmm. your taste level at the same level as theirs, but yet you put a new twist on it to get them to think differently Mm -hmm. than what uh, they would normally uh, because guys are repetitious and they're known for we're going to buy the same thing Mm -hmm. because they know it works because it works and I like it Mm -hmm. and and so what we try to do is get you outside your normal realm of thinking and show you things past what you that are different than what you've had in the past but what if it's somebody that hadn't been under before like a 24 year old looking for his first job interview or just got his first gig one of those type of guys and the one thing i noticed the last time i was in your store is you have a lot of things that are not necessarily like what you're wearing they're not suits they're more of a casual type business attire correct so to, to, you're, you're correct that we do everything suits sport coats right. khakis blue jeans a little bit of everything uh, but and yes we have a lot of the young guys coming in and and it's nice to see that they're dressing up mm-hmm. and and so a lot of these companies now are saying hey you need to dress up and that pendulum is swinging back it is it really dressing up and uh, it's it's a good thing. I was going to ask you about that because there was this. I was in the IT industry for a long time, and you, you know how those guys dress. Yep. Um, and the the pendulum was going more business casual, shorts and all that. But you're seeing that go back up. We're starting to see it swing back the other way. Casual Friday 
if you want to back up to, mm-hmm. to, to where it started, is basically it was not a day without a suit or a sport coat. It was meant to be you wear your sport coat or your suit, you just don't wear a necktie. Right. Well, it got taken so far the other way, guys now have just let their wardrobe slide. Mm-hmm. And now with companies that uh, are saying that hey, we need you to wear sport coats or suits to the trade shows, to different things, to different office. Everybody's okay. getting back into the office now since COVID. Everything is starting to dress up. Guys are now having to reinvest in their wardrobe. So are you th- are, is that a mandate from above, or do these guys just want to look better? Or a combination? A combination. You think it is? A combination. Okay. Mm-hmm. So um, – were you the so you? I didn't realize you started working at State Street Bank that early. So were you that type of kid that always wanted to dress up though, growing up? Not necessarily. Okay, it was just it was just something that I liked, and uh, I've loved every every day mm-hmm. that I went to work. Okay, so how what what does men's fashion change as much as women's fashion? Men's fashion changes, but at a much slower rate. Okay, women's fashions will change about every six to eight weeks. Uh, they always have something mm-hmm. new coming out. Men's is, is seasonal, uh, but the the types of fashions are pretty well still relevant. Uh, there's no great big shift. Uh, I think the biggest shift uh, that we've seen in the last five days, seven years, is the the shift to the slim suits where mm-hmm. everything is really really skinny. Uh, and that's even changing, uh, and it's it's starting to go back mm-hmm. uh, to a fuller fitting garments, a little nicer shoulder treatments, uh, and, and so uh, it's 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 time to go back again. So I assume you go to shows, yes, sir, every spring. If I don't know to mm-hmm. buy a head, mm-hmm. how much stress does that bring you that you have to pick stuff out that you think people are going to like? You know, um, I, you. I guess experience, obviously. It, but it's, still, it's an experience, I, I mean, and I mean, you. You know, we're buying six to eight months ahead of time uh, because you got to have lead mm-hmm. times because not much is made here in America mm-hmm. anymore. Uh, and so, you project of what you're going to need. You also know what the trends are going to be, uh, and you engage it accordingly. And and for us, you know, we we also buy six or eight months ahead of time, but we're buying all the time right uh to stay on top of the market Uh uh-huh so do you have a specific number of suits slacks that type of thing you want to make sure you have in the store at all times most generally yes most generally yeah okay and uh what's so how many of your suits are like a 48 long or how much versus all items are tailored to fit that person so does that make sense, my most, question? Mm-hmm. Okay. So most generally, mm-hmm. I'm going to tell you, 85% of the people are going to need some kind of an alteration. Right. Unless you're just coming in for a pant. And a lot of people can just walk in and walk out with a pair of pants, which is, which is great. Mm-hmm. But when it comes to suits, you're going to have to have some tailoring done uh, to get it to fit the way that it should fit or the way you mm-hmm. want it to fit, being there's a difference there. And uh, uh, it's just, it's a personal taste level is what it boils down to. So let's, the suit you're wearing now, mm-hmm. how much, how, how large of an adjustment can you make to a suit though? There's only so much material. <laughs> you can. It, it, how does that affect your ordering? The, 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 you, you know what you're selling by size. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And so it is, it's a balance, mm-hmm. and it's always a balance. Uh, you know, we know how many suits we sell a month. We know what we sell a year. We know how many we have to have in stock. We know how many 42s or 48 mm-hmm. longs we got to have. We, we pretty well know it all. And so right now, for example, we're hanging uh, 413 sport coats, and we're hanging Jeez. 424 suits okay. as of this morning. As of this morning? Yep. Okay. Um, lost my train of thought. So you hear the uh, people around all over the place, small businesses are dying, locally mm. owned businesses are dying. Does that, is that the same in your industry? No. Or how are you, you guys are doing? So, okay. Right now, it is a good time to be an independent retailer. Not only in menswear, but it's ladies wear. If you're an independent, you're in a good time. Why is that? Uh, because big box stores 
are floundering. Mm -hmm. They forgot what they're doing. Uh, they're not able to shift accordingly to the market is what an independent is. And besides, you get so much better service when you're shopping locally. Mm -hmm. Not only does that help, but it also helps your own community that you're in. Right. And do you, does the internet affect you at all? Because again, you, you tailor a lot of what you have. And I think it's more of a specialty thing than what you would buy online from an Amazon or someplace like that. So did that, are you affected all by online shopping? We, we do have some effect of that, but it's minimal. Okay. Uh, you know, I can't, there's so much of that being done today, you know, mm -hmm. um, but what I, what I always say is, you know, where are you going to go in your time of need if you have a funeral or something that you need to have quick? Mm -hmm. And, you know, the Internet's not going to help you. Right. Now, how fast can you turn something around, though? You mentioned you have like 800 plus items in your store. I come in. I need my thing altered. And I'm assuming you do that in-house, right? Mm -hmm. you, it's not you. I'm, so I'm hoping you, it's not you, but I'm sure you, there's... If you buy it from us, right? Uh, we like to get it back to you within a week. Mm -hmm. But there are occasions and times where you need it sooner than that. Right. And if you need it sooner than that, we're going to You'll get it You'll be getting it, get it you. done depending we're on... We're going to get it done You'll bump it up. You. Okay, cool. Uh, do you do tuxedos? Yes. Uh, do you sell them or you just rent them or both? Both. Both? Do both. Okay. So <laughs> what's the market these days? For tuxedos. Oh, it's blue paisley coats. Don't oh, you know? <laughs> I know, I know that. But outside of that, uh, uh, what he's referring to is I hosted an event here in town. And the tuxedo came from you guys, uh, and very well received, by the way. Um, so, but are, are tuxedos going away? Are they still pretty no, popular. They're, they're still they're still there. What a lot of people are doing is they're they're still for real formal occasions. They're still doing suit, mm -hmm. or, even tuxedos. around Quincy. There's a need yep, for it. There's okay. a need. Okay. There's a need. And, and but you see. A lot of our wedding parties are, are drifting to renting suits. Uh, some of oh, so you can actually suits. rent the suits now. You can, you can actually okay. rent them. Because I, I, I purchased mm -hmm. one for a wedding I was in. I didn't mm -hmm. know you could rent the suits also. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Okay. Um, what is something you carry that people may not think you carry? Um, we do a lot of medical socks. So oh, for, really? For, okay. For guys that have that are heart patients, diabetes, right. uh, circulation problems. Uh, we have two or three different types of socks uh, that uh, work very mm -hmm. well where you don't have to worry about leaving marks around your right. leg, right. cutting off your circulation, which, and if you're a diabetic or heart patient, that's mm -hmm. very important. And so we've got uh, a couple of different types of socks like that. And uh, you don't sell online. Nope. Correct. People got to come in and see you. You got to come in or call us. Okay. Uh, we have a Facebook page. Uh, you'll see a lot of things uh, 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 that mm -hmm. we advertise and put on there. And, and if you see something that you like, give us a call. Will you do appointments? I'm sorry? Will you do appointments? Like if I can't make it during your hours, you stay call late us. or come in call early? Us. Just give yep. you a buzz? Yep. Okay. Just call. Well, thanks for coming in. Hey, appreciate the, right. the opportunity. Right. And it's always a pleasure to see everybody. Yeah, thank you. Jeff Shooking with Shooking Menswear. This has been the Business Spotlight brought to you by Mercantile Bank. And Roburn Phillips, Attorneys at Law.